Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll be doing the chapter on magnetism. Specifically, we'll be looking at magnetic field, magnetic flux, uh, temporary magnets, permanent magnets. Then we have magnetic effect of electric current. Then right hand grasp rule. Then we have uh, Maxwell's Cox two rule. And finally, we'll be looking at solenoids. Also, I will be putting up DGC quizzes on my Instagram stories, and I will be providing link to question banks on navigation, met, and regulations. So do consider following, and I'll see you guys there. So without any further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So in this chapter, we'll look at magnetism. Okay. So the magnetic field is the area around a magnet in which there is a magnetic force. Okay. So as you can see, these are magnetic lines of forces. Okay. Starts from the North Pole and goes towards the South Pole. Okay. And these magnetic lines never intersect. Okay. That is, they don't cross like this. They can be very close to each other, but they won't cross. Okay. The SI unit of magnetic field is Tesla, and magnetic flux. What is magnetic flux? It is magnetic field in a given area. Okay. So magnetic field in a given area is called magnetic flux. Unit of magnetic flux is Weber. Okay. So all these units you guys have to remember. Okay, in case they ask in the exam, the closer the flux lines are to each other, the stronger the magnet. The farther away they are, the weaker. Lines of flux emerge from the North Pole and enter at the South Pole. Emerge at the North, enter at the South. Lines of flux never cross. They never intersect. Okay. Like poles repel. Unlike poles attract. Temporary magnets. They are made from soft iron, which can be easily magnetized, but they readily lose their magnetic properties as well. Okay. Permanent ones. They are made from hard alloys. Hard alloy steels, which are difficult to magnetize, but retain their magnetism well. Okay. Uh, the property of increasing the magnetic flux density is called permeability. Okay. Soft iron has low magnetic detentivity. Okay. Soft iron has low magnetic detentivity. Magnetism of a magnet can be destroyed by heating the material, hammering the material. Or placing the magnet inside a solenoid, which is supplied with an alternating current. Molecular structure of magnets unmagnetized looks like this. If it is magnetized, it looks like this. And if it is fully magnetized, that means if it is saturated, it looks like this. Magnetic effect of electric current. We know whenever a current flows through a conductor there will be a magnetic field okay and the direction of the magnetic field in a current carrying conductor can be determined by the right hand grip rule or maxwell's cox screw rule okay if we look at right hand grip rule okay the thumb points in the direction of the current Okay, and the curled fingers indicate the direction of the circular magnetic field. Okay, simple. That means it is moving in this direction, like this. Similarly, we have Maxwell's corkscrew rule. Okay, so if we have a corkscrew here, the direction of rotation. Of the corkscrew will give the direction of the magnetic field, and in the direction which you are pushing the corkscrew, 
that will give the direction of current okay then magnetic field of a solenoid so solenoid is basically a wire which has a large number of turns like this okay and it is uh, insulated okay strength of the field of the solenoid can be increased by increasing the number of turns on the coil okay increasing the current if the current increases the magnetic field increases and uh, third one is using a soft iron core okay using a soft iron core so all these three will increase the magnetic field of the solenoid okay the polarity of a solenoid may be found by using the right hand grasp rule okay so this is a solenoid this is the number of turns of the wire okay so this is the direction of the current and this is the direction of the north pole okay so you can again find this by using the right hand grasp rule so next is solenoid and relay relay we had seen in detail in the chapter on switches so basically the main difference between relay and solenoid is that the relay has a stationary core okay whereas in case of solenoid this core actually moves okay as you can see here here it is um open once the switch closes the whole core moves down and these contacts are closed okay that is the difference between solenoid and relay so an example of solenoid would be a car's central locking system okay and it is also used in a aircraft starter motor lastly we have forces on a conductor which is carrying current okay so this we'll do in detail in the next chapter i'll just give you a basic idea so fleming's left hand rule okay it is based on three things f b i okay so whenever current flows through a conductor and you have a magnetic field if you have these two things there will be a force acting on the conductor okay if you have a current and a magnetic field there will be a force or a motion okay so that is the basic principle on which a motor works okay so how it is how it exactly works we'll see in detail in the next chapters so the motion caused by the effects of current through a conductor suspended in a magnetic field is known as lorentz force okay so yeah you can go through this chapter if you have any doubts you can let me know in the comments below you can also dm me on instagram i'll try and answer them and i'll see you guys in the next one bye